Okay, guys, here we go. Biodiversity. To kind of continue on some things that we've been doing, we're going to talk about biodiversity and ex explore some things. Uh, what I want you guys to do is I want you to understand what sustainability and biodiversity is about, and, and then we're going to put it now, all together. What's our aim of today's project? Today's project, you are going to be advisors to the Convention for Biological Diversity. Now, the United Nations Environmental Program has a convention that's put together uh, of representatives of UNEP, and they all get together um, and discuss different things on biological diversity. And one of the things is they want to know from you what makes it relevant, what makes it real, what gives it purpose, what it really means. These are the things they want to know from you. So what you're going to do today when we get done is you're going to get into groups, you're going to put together that information and give it to them. That information is going to be compiled with the other class's information. And from there, we're going to send that all the way across the, uh, uh, the building over to Mr. Soares' class. Mr. Soares' English Ret two kids are going to compile that information that you've put together. They are going to make a report. It's going to be given to the Convention for Biological Diversity. And they are going to hear what biological diversity means to people who are age 15 to 17 in the middle of central Illinois. Your voices are going to be heard. And that's what's cool about this project. Now, here's a question. Are you ready to do something like this? You guys, you guys can handle it. I know you can. You guys are awesome. Step one. Now, first thing we got to do is we got to get in our group. So here's what I want. I want group one here. I want group two here. I want group three right there. And I want group four right there. Go. And I want someone to designate themselves as a team captain. So step one, we're going to ask this question. What are the positives that you know of? What are the good things that you know of of biodiversity? Why is biodiversity good? Why do we need it? Are you ready? Yeah. Set, go. Write as many things as you can do. Species around survival. Having species survival. Okay, I got you. How about you guys? How are you coming? Good. Good. What do you got? Provides food, fuel, fiber, and shelter. Purifies water and air and controls pests and diseases. Provides food, fuel, fiber, shelter, water, air. Purifies air. I got you. Okay. Where are you at? Um, like just like increase resources for future generations. Increase resources for future generations. Got okay. you. Next thing we need to understand: what are the negatives? What are bad things that are going on with biodiversity? If you want to reference like Operation Danger Species, whatever. P2D2 program, I don't care. Think about it. Yeah, what are things that are negative that are is happening to biological diversity? No, not why why is biodiversity negative? No. What are the negatives about that are going on with biodiversity? Alright? Ready? So three minutes again. Ready? And begin. What you got? Species going to stink. Species going to stink. I like that. I like that a lot. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, about how like, it ruins food chains and all. Uh, food chains are breaking down. I like that a lot. Right? What did you say? Human expansion causes destruction of environments. Yeah, I like that. I like that. What do you got? What do you got? Extinction. When people hunt and we just the animal population. So, uh, negative hunting pressure causes uh, uh, extinction of population. So, poaching, that's what, yeah. another word that would be involved with that. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Okay, where you at? What do you got? Uh, it can depleting the ozone layer, coral reefs are depleting, rainforests are getting cut down, and poaching. So how would that be affected by diversity? It throws off the balance of other organism, organisms and the climates and stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Two minutes left. How are you doing? Um, invasive species. Invasive species. I like that. So what, what is an invasive species? An invasive species is, a, is an animal and or plant that is introduced into an environment that unopposed will will completely like like spread out throughout. that's amazing that is amazing that is amazing great job where are we at um, how humans feel like they're empowered to, you know whatever land they have is automatically we can take it over when it belongs and it's a shelter in the homes for different species and so we can do whatever yeah. we want and we, people we feel entitled 
Entitlement. Entitlement. Boy, I like that. That's very good. Write that down. What about people are like too lazy to like think about health saving like environment in general? So people are not taking the initiative to take action. Yeah. Action yeah. is big, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Which we've seen. We've done action with Operation Dangerous Species. We've done action with P2DT program. You know, what's P2DT program doing? It's keeping the what? Pills out of the water, mm -hmm. keeping it out of the hands of people that don't belong to I agree. Yeah, 100%. Here we go. We've got two minutes. What is the effect on you? Ready, set, go. Talk. What did you say? It's killing the fish that we It's hurting the fish population. Okay. Come up with a couple of them. There's multiple blanks there. It affects our uh, futures, our, uh, our food sources. What did you say? For it, our uh, human entitlement affects our race. Our race is ruining our own futures and our food sources. How so? Explain what's the effect okay. on you. How so? You can just write underneath it. Don't have to erase. What do we got? Less food. Less food. How? For who? Us. Uh, write that down. Right here. Less food for us. What about other organisms? Like if an animal eats them, then their, their population will get bigger. Cause the no, our population will reduce because that animal would die. And like, well, like let's say an animal eats another animal. Well, if that animal is going extinct, the other animal is not going to have anything to eat, so their population is going to die. So you have two different populations so dying. The predator right? dies, the prey expands to extreme amounts. Then and if the all prey dies, all, the predator dies. All I'm liking that. That's good. Write that down. What is that? Your mussel is like an invasive species. I can't remember where they're from, but they came in on boats. And when the ships drop their ballasts, they start, they, they're unopposed, and now they're taking over um, uh, Lake Michigan and places like that. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And time. Did you write that down? What can people do? Now, you're going to expand upon the effects where you live. So, write down what the effect is on where you live. On your right marks, get set, go. Do you think biodiversity affects of course it does. Of course it does. That's a great question. Because it built a dam and now that's stopping water flowing into an area which causes it to dry out. That's awesome. Keep going. I love it. And one last thing in five seconds. What do you do? What do you got? Um, the poorer city, because livestock is such a great part of the economy here, prices will raise on certain items. Like I like it. And then less jobs because of the thing. Good stuff. Okay, and stop. What is your thing that affects nationally biological diversity? Biodiversity. What'd you put down? Uh, ruins fish economy for other fishermen and kills off other species that eat fish. Very nice, very nice. Think about ecosystems. Think about ecosystems, how it's all in there. I incorporate that. What do you got? Um, like, due to the drought slash flooding ruining the crops in the area, then nations that rely on trading with trading their food to other nations and go literally into debt. Uh, wow, you guys are awesome. Two minutes, what can you do to solve your problem? Ready, go. What are you going to tell them to do? Yep. Um, you could actually hunt them as a fur animal and then heck, they'd go instinct. So what are you saying? And like actually have them hunted as a fur animal because beavers they were like fur animal and heck they went to, they went extinct like almost literally. Okay, here we go. That's a nice job. Here we go. And no, here's to go. We've got to tie this up because the bell's going to ring. Here's where we're at, guys. Your information. What I want you to do. I want each of you to sign your paper. Make sure that everybody knows that this is your work. What we're going to do is we're going to forward that over to Mr. Soros' room. These are great things, great ideas. You've put together all the pieces of what makes it relevant to you right here at home. That information we're going to put together with everybody else's stuff. I love it. Tomorrow we're going to, we're going to talk amongst each other and we are going to uh, share. You're going to share what everybody else had to say. Um, be ready to talk about your specific issue. But this material we're going to send over to Mr. Sword's room and then we're going to send it over to the, uh, uh, the UN United Nations Environmental Program. So great job. Thanks, everybody. Go ahead and get your desk back in a row.